Here is a summary of respiration. No details at this point, just a summary. We start off with glucose, which is a six carbon ring. In the first step, this is broken into two three carbon molecules called pyruvates. This step is called glycolysis. The second step is where each of these three carbon pyruvates is made into a two carbon molecule. The third carbon is taken away, oxygen arrives, ching, takes it away, CO2. So our three carbon molecule has become a two carbon molecule and this is called the link reaction. This two carbon molecule then enters the Krebs cycle. In the Krebs cycle we have a four carbon molecule. Our two carbon molecule meets the four carbon molecule to create a six carbon molecule. One carbon is broken off to make it five carbon, another carbon is broken off to make it a four carbon molecule again, so it can then meet another two, etc, etc. This is the Krebs cycle. The purpose of the Krebs cycle is to charge up temporary energy carriers. These temporary energy carriers then go to the electron transport chain where they are used to charge up ATP, lots of it. We end up with 34 of the 38 ATPs made charged up here in the electron transport chain. We can go back through and say this is happening in the cytoplasm. By this I mean glycolysis. The link reaction, everything beyond this point, is occurring in the mitochondria. The link reaction in the Krebs cycle occurring just in the matrix of the mitochondria while the electron transport chain occurs on the inner membrane which is also called the cristae. So that is a brief overview of respiration without any of the details that you will need for higher level IV biology.